Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we'll look into the Slovenian guard who's still putting on a show since his NBA debut in 2018. Going into his third NBA season, Luka continues to make history. Even though the superstar can't jump and isn't quite athletic compared to others, he finds a way to perform to the highest level. Today's topic is NBA legends and more on Luka Doncic. But before we get into the video, don't forget to click on that like button and subscribe to the channel. Never-ending battle, the battle between staying humble and, and staying hungry. So before he got to the league, Luca has played professional basketball since 13 years old. He dominated at a young age, but many didn't know exactly who he was. Teams didn't want to risk picking a young overseas player over top NBA prospects who have already proved their worth in the draft. Let's check out what some NBA legends and more thought about Luca early in his career. Luka Doncic, and uh, we heard his coach talking about the approach he should have. Success can be a trap. I don't know that that's a trap that this kid is going to fall into. Well, he's already been in the limelight for years. I mean, he's been a pro before he got to the NBA for multiple years, so he's stepping into a situation like, I'm used to this. I've been playing against grown men since he was probably like 12, 13 years old. And Luka, in my eyes, is one of the top five most talented players in the league right now mm -hmm. and must watch TV. I mean, I, I really any position? Not, 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 not second year players? Top five most talented, I'm saying, and most fun to watch, I'm saying. He's fun to watch. He's fun to watch. He has size. He can shoot. He's a creative passer. He just has to get better on defense, but he's fun to watch, and he's super talented. And, and you can see his conditioning is much better. He's got a, maybe a, an extra half step now going to the basket because he came back this year in much better shape than he walked into as a teenager into the league last year. How about being a second-year player and knowing that you arrived? At 6'7", he has all the requisite skills. He's clutch, he can shoot the three, he's a distributor. Now they added Porzingis, seven foot three unicorn. They are a dynamic duel. They're gonna make a lot of threes together. Porzingis is gonna be one of four players in the league this year to average 20 points and get two blocks. He's a terrific rim protector. This team has a bright future. What are you writing I can't down? let it go. Hold on, Paul. You're writing things <laughs> Hold down. on, Paul. <laughs> like, we can right come down. back to that. <laughs> uh, who, okay, so who are the top five most talented players in the league? AD? Okay, you can say AD. Okay, Kawhi? You can say. <laughs> Kawhi? Keep going. Giannis? Ben Simmons? LeBron James? Luka Doncic is in there. I'm going to leave. Who are you taking out? You left off a couple. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. saying about Kyrie. Kyrie. I think he's more talented than Ben Simmons. Yeah, he's a better shooter. Okay. I think that one's he's more fair. talented than Ben Simmons. He can do everything Ben Simmons can do but shoot better. Okay, I'm, we have to work on this. We have to keep talking right. this one through. Okay. I'm with, I'm with. All right, this is good, though. So clearly you disagree with uh, that situation, but what have you seen from Luca so far and think you're going to see in year two? I think there's such a huge advantage to being a pro, and Paul said this before, yeah. right? Like, my rookie year, I didn't know what it took to be a pro. You have no idea. You're still trying to figure that out in conjunction with size and length and the speed of guys. Right. Like, it just feels like he has this natural poise to the way he plays. You combine that with Porzingis mm -hmm. in the mix, it's like pick your poison. What do you what do you want? You want to go under? You want to go over the top? I mean, he can have it it's whatever way he wants with Porzingis. He was so yeah. good last year. He almost got voted into the All-Star game. Do y'all remember that? He yeah. almost was voted yeah. a leading vote getter. So there's no doubt in my mind. Yeah. He, he's got a flair for the dramatic. He makes big shots. He has done that you know, in the Spanish ACB as a teenager. That's what he was known for. Big moments, big games you know, hitting shots from every angle. Yes. And it, it's a gift. There's an it factor to him uh, that, that not every guy, not every star comes into the league. Luka Doncic has plenty of experience playing professional ball, but who knew he could turn his talent overseas into stardom in the NBA? He recently made history because in the month of February, he averaged over 30 points, seven rebounds and eight assists per game. He's proved to be one of the most exciting players to watch, plus a fan favorite in Dallas. So let's check out some more on what NBA legends and more think about Luka Doncic. I was going to say, a guy asked me on the, on the radio show the other day uh, about Doncic. I said, he's a smaller Larry Bird. You think so? Yeah. Thank you. Bird is, Bird is obviously a, a lot taller, but he's complete like Larry Bird. I, I say he's complete. I just think he's a more aggressive deadlift shrimp. I don't think he's Larry. Deadlift shrimp. Deadlift shrimp was a bad boy. He's a bad boy. Dare we even look at Twitter at this point? 
that while he'd been dazzling playing in the Euro League, winning Final Four MVP honors as a 19-year-old, there was, yes, a fear. He was already close to his ceiling, might not be able to adapt to the NBA game. And accordingly, he didn't go number one overall, or even number two, but third. And even then, it was Atlanta who selected him, then traded him to Dallas in exchange for picks that became Trey Young and Cam Reddish. We were on the air with the jump that night, and at the time, all I kept saying was how striking it was to watch multiple front offices choose to play it safe, drafting good players who'd gone the conventional college route instead of taking a shot at greatness with Luka, even if it was, indeed, more risky. Scotty, Luka Magic, does it have you believing that the Mavs could upset the Clippers and win this series? Wow, I mean, he's, he's playing a amazing basketball. I mean, especially when you talk about how he's dominating the Clippers. He's dominating some of the best defensive players that we've ever seen in our game. When you talk about Kawhi, when you talk about Paul George, when you talk about what the Clippers have done as a team overall, I mean, his his confidence level has shot up in this series, knowing that, you know, he's playing the number two seed in the West. Uh, you can't tell by, by looking at it. I mean, to me, he looks like he's the best basketball player on the basketball court. But not only that, He's playing with the most confidence, and that's what's got the Dallas Mavericks in the series. That is a serious sentence on a court with Paul George and Kawhi Leonard on it. Uh, well, let's say, say Ka Kawhi Leonard. We're not going to include Paul George in that conversation, not quite yet. But let's be really honest. Like Even you said, they were. he was 0 for 10. People were wondering how the Dallas Mavericks were the seventh seed. It's because they struggled to close games. Luka Doncic is one of the most talented guys we've ever seen, especially at this point in time in his career. But he was 0 for 10 before that shot. And for him to still be so fearless and want that ball, because he knows eventually it's going to turn around. He's going to start making these shots. And I believe in Luka. Do I necessarily believe in, in, in the Mavericks? I don't think not quite yet. Okay. Because I think eventually – the Clippers will start to turn around. They will start to do some things. Trey, Trey Burke, who has been playing great, yeah. played amazing last game. Do I necessarily believe in Trey Burke to give those type of contributions consistently? No. But I believe in Luka, and I think the Mavericks have a chance. But I still stand by and right, think Luka Doncic led the Mavs with 27 points as they beat the Nets on Saturday. After the game, I asked Luka about a notable comparison that we're starting to hear between himself and three-time MVP Larry Bird. Take a listen to what Luka said. You know, Luca, one of Larry Bird's old teammates, Cedric Maxwell, has been calling you Larry Bird reincarnated. And your coach, who also was a teammate of Larry Bird, told us this morning that he does see the resemblance. Have you looked at old film of Larry Bird? Do you see the similarities yourself? I mean, yeah, I looked at it. I looked. Uh, I, I saw a lot of films how he how he played, but you know, you can't compare me to Larry Bird. All right, guys, I want to make clear in that question, this was not like us at ESPN making this comparison. This was first Cedric Maxwell and then Rick Carlisle agreeing that he sees some of it, Larry Bird's old teammates. Do you think Luca's right that you can't compare him to Larry Bird or that you can compare him to Larry Bird? Ooh, split. I think, I think you can. Okay. And, and not from a championship overall career perspective, Larry's one of the greatest players we've ever seen. But like Cedric Maxwell said, he's a, two, he's a 2K version of what Larry Bird would be with all the footwork and the ball handling, his size, his ability to get a bucket at any time. I think it's you know high honors when former teammates of one of the greatest players we've ever seen can compare a current player to him. And, and it's factual. When we do it, it's a little different. We never play with Larry, don't know Larry. But when guys that played with him and went to war with him can give you that kind of compliment, I did just think Luca's being modest. Mm -hmm. I think Luca's being modest and rightfully so. He should be modest only from a place of, like Larry Bird, we know this. If Larry Bird, you know, had the three-point line, all the things, like mm -hmm. if, if the game would have been a different, who knows what Larry yeah. would have been able to do because he was one of the greatest shooters that we've ever mm -hmm. seen. Like Steph, Clay, him, Reggie, Ray, like he's in that category. Luka's not quite in that category. As far as being a big player that moves at a different pace but controls the game, there are so many similarities to the game, but to compare him, you start to look at legacy mm -hmm. versus like who he is right now. Now, Luca's got a long way to go before he could be in a conversation right. with Larry Bird, but are there skill similarities? Yes, but I think Luca's doing the right thing by not yeah. like, well, I see that he's my favorite player. Yeah. That's who I want to be like, and my goal is to be better than Larry Bird one day. Yeah. And, it's just like, <laughs> and, then, and then people start killing him for that. Right. You know yeah. what I mean? so I think Luka, Luka is only in his third season, and let's not forget he's only 22 years old and receiving comparisons to a younger, smaller Larry Bird. To be compared to an NBA legend like Bird, you must be doing something right. Do you think Luka has the potential to lead the Mavs to a finals this season? Let us know what you think in the comments. 
Thanks for tuning in to watch today's episode. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time.